I'm Louise, Fred is not in this video, and welcome back to my channel, I don't feel dress up. You've probably seen from the thumbnail, this is a Laura tour, but before we get into it, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share to anyone, everyone, because it helps the algorithm, and I would really appreciate that personally. <laughs> to me that we even managed to get there but that happened i think my vlog is already out so you can watch it i think it'll be up here or there i don't know it'll be linked down below as well you can find if you want to see what actually happened i don't really okay i thought seeing as the lorry's down where we are rather than being like a strap in warwickshire i thought i'd give you a little tour because who doesn't love a lorry tour who doesn't love being nosy that is what we're doing today i have finished cleaning it though because it was a little bit of a mess um so let's get right into it i think we're gonna go living cab horse area and then outside lockers that is my plan because i feel like the living is the most exciting to see so we're gonna do that first <laughs> when you enter the living it's obviously we've got the little door behind it's got some curtains so that when we're staying the night it's nice and dark um and then also we've got a little light switch here so we've got this one for the camera which you'll see later it's in here and then these three are for the lights in here also by the door is this little compartment which i don't actually know what's in here but it's just extra little storage which is really easy to grab when you're outside because it's like a arm height does that make sense so all the things that we need right away we can put in there and then it's easily secured she says struggling but yeah it's easily secured like that and it is a very useful little cupboard to have i would recommend we've also got a little doormat here so that's useful as well so at the main door we have this it has some coat hooks up here which you put on also would say that is a very good idea because it keeps everything out of the way nice and tidy officially this is the loo do we use it as a loo uh no we don't actually we basically just use it as like an extra cupboard or storeroom so as you can see the little at the top there i'll show you pretty there'll be some videos flying around right now for you to see what it's actually like but yeah we basically just use it for extra storage we keep fold up chairs in here and then when we're traveling around sometimes we'll chuck rugs in there also there's some more hooks so we can keep coats and stuff blue is also very useful for storage because it has these shelves here which i think you're meant to put like soap on or something or hand sanitizer but as i said we use it as like a storage cupboard so we can just put extra things in here if we want to it does smell a lot of in there but that's why we use it for things that we're not going to use a lot because we don't want them to overly smell <laughs> it's basically just like yeah a little cupboard that we keep everything which we don't need all the time when we're traveling about so that's what we use in the loo onto the main living area living is divided into a kitchen and dining room slash i don't know living sitting room and then the main bedroom area up here so this is the kitchen we have a beautiful little blind here and just at least stuck at the moment there we go it's the only blind in the lorry and it's very easy to just quickly whip it down when it's not stuck but we also have a little grill here which we can take the metal thing off so it's not a grill it's a cooker i was wrong so that's useful there's a grill under here there is a sink up here so that's also useful it's got a little tab cupboard cupboard and there are some more cupboards down here so underneath this grill bit here underneath the cooker really um this is where we keep all of the plates and basically all our cooking utensils so they're all plastic which is very good because i am um, not very good i don't know i drop things a lot so plastic is very useful um and also it'd be a pain to clear it something like glass if somebody did drop it probably i would drop it but yeah that's where we keep the plates really the most important thing we keep in this little cupboard down here is this this is a heater and Oh my god, the best thing to happen when we were at Rain UK was this little bad boy. I'll show you all the plug sockets that we have in here, but it kept us so warm. So if you don't have a heater, go buy one. Over here is the wardrobe. As I said, the next thing is the wardrobe I gotta show you. 
So it's not overly big and it doesn't actually have any of my stuff in. So sorry Alexandra, but this is all the stuff. So I'm not going to go into a whole lot of detail because it's not my stuff that I'm showing you. But it's got a little rail that we can hang stuff on and enough on the bottom to store all my boots and stuff. So my big bag is about like this high. So it fits in perfectly and I'm able to store both my hats, my boots and all of my stuff for the weekend in there. And also perfectly stored all of my show stuff from when I went to the championships, which was like a three day uh, occasion. So um, that was the event championships, not the championships I just went to. But yeah, very good wardrobe. Underneath the wardrobe is also something very exciting. So I am sound the floor, I'm in just shrunk. But behind me, I'm gonna be in the shadow. Anyway, this is the fridge freezer. Also very good, very useful. I feel like I said that loads. I love this memory, it's very beautiful. But it has a fridge and a freezer, which is great for when we have to use ice, especially if we're venting. Not that I vent a lot, but Kat and Alex, they vent a lot, so very useful. Also, obviously, if we're going away not that long, the cool box is useful for food, but a fridge is a lot better for food because obviously it will keep it cool for longer. And here we have the living room, dining room. I don't know if you can see, but there's a little table here which can come out, and then we can pull this back, and it makes a really nice, comfy double bed. This lorry can tend to sleep. I don't know, three, four people. You can put a little camp bed between the kitchen and the living room, which is what I normally sleep on. But yeah, you can sleep with a lot of people. But I just wanted to show you guys how easy it is to take this table out. Um, I don't know if we're gonna make the bed up properly, but it's very easy. And just like that, you can pull this out, and then you have a double bed. And you just pop this back in, and then you got a table again. Here above the cab is the bed. Um, I might stop in a second, but we've got two windows on either side, so it doesn't get too stuffy up there. This is folded back at the moment because I said we went traveling, so they're just kind of airing it out, I guess. This is very comfy, it's very squishy. That's nice. There isn't um, overly much room up there, so that's not too great, but apart from that, it's a very good bed. The lorry did get remounted, so that's why there's a lot of space up in here than other lorries, but you can still sleep normally. Um, yeah. This is the above cab bed. You could probably fit two people up here, but you probably wouldn't want to just because of the low roof. But mum normally sleeps up here because then me and Catherine in the morning we sleep down there and then we can get up earlier and mum can get a little bit more sleep. <laughs> Before we move on to the horse area, I just want to show you a couple more extra details of things in here. This beautiful mirror, which is very useful when you're getting ready. Plugs, fairy lights, and a Dutch flag, because you gotta be proud of your nationality. Which as I was talking about earlier, they control these lights. Oh, I missed them. We have light one, two, three up there. So there are three lights in the lorry. To the loo, there is also one big light up here. We also have a little curtain that divides the cabin. Uh, the cab. Yeah, cabin, cab. That's what it's shortened to, isn't it? But the driver bed, because otherwise we get really light in here with all of the light from the windscreen. Interesting thing to show you about the cab is that we have um, three air fresheners, because otherwise when the horses poo, then it gets a bit smelly. But that is all the living stuff, so now I'm going to show you the horse area. So this is the door, right to the horse bit. So this is the horse area. I do have a back down at the moment because as we said, I was carrying the lorry out. Uh, so that's why it's so light in here. To be fair, the lorry is pretty light. It hardly gets dark. Apart from when we got stuck on the motorway once and it was kind of losing light. Um, we've been in so long that it's clearly getting dark and Fred's actually started going to sleep. Apart from that, I would not describe this lorry space as dark at night at all. Well, I mean, it would be dark at night, but like it wouldn't be, it's not dark in the daytime, that's what I mean. So, one thing I really like about the lorry is that there are padding all around the walls and on the floor, so it's really nice and comfy. The partitions are also really padded, which means that Fred or Percy or any horse when they're travelling here means they've got lots of cushioning, which I really, really like. The amount of windows and as I said, light in here and ventilation is also really nice. So all these windows 
side up and down. I don't know if you saw that, but I've already video it. Um, I find it hard to put the windows all the way up, but that's just because I'm small. So if I have to, I have to stand on something. But they're pretty easy to put up, apart from that. Um, so did I just fall off the thing I was trying to stand on to put the windows up? Yes, but I'm alright. It's alright. I think so. I think that was a bit funny, but we move. I think I said earlier, but we have a little camera up here which connects to the front of the lorry so that we can see exactly how the horses are travelling in real time. That's very useful, especially for Fred, who doesn't always travel in the lorry consistently, so sometimes he loses balance because travelling herringbone is very different to travelling in a trailer. Also, it means that we can check if they're itchy or what has happened because sometimes, you know, horses can not always be the best behave when they're traveling so that's really useful like sometimes freddy will try and eat the spare hay rather than his hay which is quite funny another thing i really like about our lorry is that it's got loads of lights actually in the horse area not just in the living so the lights that i showed you like the lights which is up there didn't just control the living lights they also controlled the lights in here lights in here are two strip lights which are behind me and there's also a little loading light over there so they work really well and yeah they just provide that extra bit of light if it is getting dark so i love that this little thing here might not look too exciting but it just means that there is a lot less mess getting into the living area of the lorry i don't know it just stops all of the extra shavings and hay kind of being trailed into the living as much which is also very useful about this lorry so there are kind of two sets of rings for each of the horses that want to travel in the back of the lorry. I think we've only traveled with two horses in the lorry, but I guess you could fit three because there are three little windows. But there's one tarp for a hay net and there's one tarp for the horse. We mostly do it that way around because obviously you want the horse's hay net to be at eye level and then you can tie them up right here. At one point we did used to tie Brad's hay net here, but I did the problem with dust. That was not a good idea. So yeah, hay nets get tied up here. Then horses get tied up here. Over here, there's a little bungee. So sometimes it's easier to just put the horses in with the bungee rather than tying them up. So we've also got that here. One thing we have added to the back of the lorry is these little bungee ties. These little bungee ties. So it just means that they're it just means that it's easier to fold the partitions away while you're trying to do stuff in the back of the lorry. So if you don't have them. Go buy some, they are very useful. And with the bungees, I just want to show you how easy it is to put the partition back. You're a mystery, here's the really you, but girl is new to me. I wish that I could see it happen naturally, but I never saw it coming, baby. I never thought we could get this far, well, honestly, I really don't know where we are, and would it feel as fun if it was like this? partitions across and as you can see there is lots of space for a little pony to stand in here it's kind of the same width in all of the stalls so that's it obviously they face this way behind them and then one big window in front of them which Fred really likes because we travel with the windows down and he I, know, I guess it's like a dog he likes to stand and put his nose out and sniff all the air and wave to all of the trees we don't really see many cars so just you know, that's just the way they travel. So he doesn't really sniff to the people, he sniffs to the trees, which I guess trees smell better than people. I'm rambling, but yeah, that is how Fred travels. Also, this kind of shavings will like be across the floor and then it means that if slash when he pees and poos, then it will get soaked up and doesn't run across the whole of the lorry. Behind me around here, we normally keep water and then you can see a skip so that it's easier to get everything out. It's really useful to keep a skip there as well as water because the horses are going to be in here if we need to break down. So you've got the water on site, um, on site, on hand, and then also the poo shovel to be able to get it up quickly. I know I said poo shovel, it's just a pair of gloves in there and a skip. So either way, you can pick it up quickly. Now we're going to have a look in all of the lockers. So this is the bridal locker. Obviously you can fit three bridles in here, but obviously you could like double up, I guess. So lots of bridles you fit here. I don't know why you'd have more than three bridles, but I guess, no, that's stupid. 
but yeah, you have three bras in here or more if you want them to. Uh, we also use the hooks to hang up boots. So I don't know if you've seen it in other videos, but we keep basically all our boots into little drawstring bags. These are Alex's, so not mine because Alex is wearing most of the time. Bridal locker and the saddle locker are interconnected, which is also really useful in case you need to quickly grab something. The locker is basically just a saddle locker, except this is one thing I also really like about it. Basically, the whole saddle rack can flip out, so it makes it a lot easier to put saddles in as well as take them out rather than it just being flat against the wall, which I really appreciate and really like. There's only one more locker I gotta show you, which is the hose pipe slash, I don't know, wash off locker? Here we keep all of the wash off buckets as well as there's a little hose pipe, which is also really cool. Fill up the lorry with water and then you got a hose pipe right here and you can just hose the horse's legs off. It's a little bit dirty, but you know. Um, these are all like the buckets with sponges that just kept in the lorry. And obviously we've got bolt tie rings. I can't reach them. These are the tie rings. They've all got bear twin on them to make them a little bit more safer for all of the horses. Okay, so that is the lorry tour. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully me and Fred will be able to get out competing more, a little bit more successfully than yesterday, but competing nonetheless. And I hope you stick around for another video. Do you have a lorry? Do you want a lorry? Do you have a trailer? How do you transport your horse? Do you have a horse? Let me know down below. I'd be very interested to get to know you guys a little bit better. And yeah, that's it for today's video.